Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. This week, we're going to try and prove a property of a commutative ring with its, um, that has its identity. So, we're going to try to prove that 0x equals 0 in our ring uh, from these axioms. Um, and if we can't do that, maybe we should consider making this itself an axiom and proving other things. But if we can, we'll, that, we'll find out that that's why it's left out of these axioms, because it seems fairly um, trivial that this should be the case. Anyways, the axioms of a ring are as follows. They're abelian with respect to addition, meaning that for each x in, in the ring r, there exists a negative x such that x, x plus its negative x is equal to zero. Um, also, multiplication distributes over addition and is associative. Um, any commutative ring has the property that yx equals xy, and uh, the ring will have a unique identity element one, so that will be the multiplicative identity. So we're going to try originally and develop um, some logic for why this might be, for how this can be um, obtained from the axioms. So here, um, we have 0x equals 0, and we know from um, axiom 1 that um, any r has a negative r, so we can do r minus r equals 0. Substitute that in. Um, add r over to one side. It's just simple algebra. Um, although we're going to let r equal 0x, and so 0x plus 0x equals 0x. Um, so we're going to, then we, we know that this 0x, um, we're kind of assume that um, 0x is in our ring, and because it is uh, given here. So we have our 0x, um, we um, add its uh, additive inverse to 0x on both sides. So we have 0x equals 0. Um, but it's not really good form to um, start with what you're trying to prove. And we're going to try to uh, make this proof a little stronger by starting with um, another um, something else and see if we can come back to here. Um, so. Um, so yeah, we, we're going to start with 0 plus 0 equals 0, um, multiply both sides by x, use this um, second axiom, and which was used kind of in a more abstract way in our last example by taking, I think we, maybe we didn't use it, but anyways. You, I guess you, I think we might have taken the um, x0 anyways. We did the opposite of this, basically. And um, so we distribute this x, um, add the additive inverse to x of x0 to x0. So it gives us x times 0 equals 0. And that is proof that x times 0 equals 0 in any ring, really, because we didn't use any of these uh, commutative um, um, axioms. But it still holds true for commutative rings. Um, thank you for watching. You can find a playlist of all our um, problems of the week here. Subscribe to our channel. 
and check out our website for more information on the Center of Math. Or um, check out any of these links in the top right corner if you're on a mobile device. Uh, thank you for watching.